All right, so this is the face of help. I need help. I need to do something very drastic, very different, but still very sexy and flirty with this hair. Going away for the weekend and the humidity is just not going to help my hair in any way. So rather than have to deal with curling irons, flat irons, blow dryers, and any other apparatuses, I decided I was going to do a quick weave. Now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and start measuring to do the front. And right now, I'm just going to do from side to side, as you see me placing the track here. And then once I get to the other side, I'll start to go all the way across. So I'm going to do my left side and then go all the way across in a circle manner. And the key to doing a consistent circle and gluing as you go is to use your thumb as pressure behind the track when you are lining the glue to the track base of the track if that makes look at this girl anywho if that makes any sense and you'll see me do it in just a few
Okay, so now at this moment, I am creating my closure. So I have taken a small width um, of track and I'm going to go ahead and glue it and wrap it around into this little ball like you see me do here. And I usually do this in sections. So if the first ball, like you see here, isn't wide enough, then I go ahead and I add another layer of track around that as opposed to trying to do the whole thing at once it just gets messy and then it doesn't glue well together or stay in place so now i'm rewrapping in another track and this is just to widen the diameter so that it fits perfectly in the top of my head so i'm going to add a little glue here and a little glue in the top of my head and then i'm just going to place it in the center once it is in the center, I'm going to split it. And I got glue on the other hand, so that's why I'm only using one hand. But there it is. So I'm going to hold down the middle and then comb around just to flatten it out. All right, love, so now I'm back. It is bright and early in the morning and I got a little zest, so I'm ready to finish. I am using my flat iron just to apply some heat to the center, just to make certain that that is flattened and sealed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bump just this center, just to kind of see where the bang is gonna fall or whether or not I need to do some more trimming or if in fact it is perfect. And based on that right there tells me, nope, I think I need some trimming. I cannot see anything and if I curl it any tighter, it will not look good. So this is me after I have cut it all the way around and I believe I took some off of the back. I, um, yeah, I did because the back was definitely longer than that. So this is it after I went all the way through and recut it and now I'm just going to put some bumps in it just to kind of see the shape of it and if there's anything more that I need to do. After I did this, I realized that I needed my razor and I did not have a razor. So I just went ahead and did what I could do in the meantime. And then I left for the salon where the rest of my gadgets and gadgets are so that I could complete this look. All right, y'all. So I had to come to the salon. I'm not getting, that's my top. I had to come to the salon because I just did not have what I needed at home. And I was about to butcher this week. So, got my razor. That's what I needed. I had a different razor. I don't know what that razor is. small curl nine which I need for the back. 